uh, Arizona Bike Week is in the beginning of April, mm -hmm. and uh, a friend of mine in South Dakota started this Let's Do a Friends Throwdown. So the Chopper Throwdown, which was 2022, uh, this was my version of what I built. And I've never had a chopper. So I did have a frame laying around, and this frame started off as a stock style frame for a shovel head, pan head, whatever, but it's a copy of an Amen Savior frame. So it's technically a hardtail, which there is no suspension, that's just visual. And uh, we, we still re chromed the springs and made it look like it works. We put a stainless steel nut on the bottom, all the little finite details that pretty much most of my bike builds are known for. Um, I'm a very detailed OCD kind of guy. Uh, and Rob Roll and Donnie Smith stretched the frame for me, made it re really long. And I bought a wrecked 79 shovel head, and this is the donor motor and transmission. So uh, we just kind of put it together. My, my right-hand man, Mike Allerton, and I came up with a, a list of things that we were going to do, and, and I think we accomplished it. Uh, we had some guys in the industry that hooked us up with some really good parts. My guys at Throwback out in California did the, the rocker boxes for me. My uh, bird catcher air cleaner was done in Poland. Um, exotic choppers did the pushrod tubes for me. They even did NAMS in there for me. As you can see, it says NAMS on the pushrod tubes. Um, they all have the, the ball milled look, the grooved look. Um, this is an OEM Harley part that we had polished. Um, the mid controls uh, that did the white pegs and kicker to just give it that old school look. Uh, we welded the mufflers onto the pipe and put the heat shields over the welds just to give it a, a cool look. Uh, I customized the brake mount and the brake lever, um, which is stainless steel. And we have dual calipers on the rear, so the front brake works one of them and the rear brake works the other. There is no front brake, as you can tell all the way up here. Uh, no front brake at all. Headlights from France. And the gas tank I bought and modified it heavily to make it have much more geometry on it. And the paint was done by my painter who does a phenomenal job. Um, Christine LaPera did the seat for me. And uh, that was it.